G'day guys, welcome to Life on the Hulls. Well, last week created a bit of a storm. I uh, I added some ASMR to the mix and uh, yeah, it wasn't that popular, I have to say. And you know, I, I definitely put it up there as a joke, guys. I hope you all got a bit of a cack out of it. Um, look, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta try something different. And the whole thing about YouTube that I've learned is about, it's, it's about engagement. Some make comments, some don't. Now the 10,000 odd views a week, I'm getting around about 100 comments. So the more comments, the better, guys. The more you engage with me, the better YouTube see it and they'll promote it and, uh, and send it out to the others. So feel free to make a comment and uh, I try to answer as many as possible, but it's quite funny. That ASMR thing, I'm out to lunch. It just does very little for me, but I thought it was an absolute crack up and I will put up a 20 minute version of that at some point. Sorry about the deep breathing in it. It was uh, pretty bizarre, I have to say, but you know, the, the, the limitations of music and, and voiceovers can sometimes get a little bit boring. So you gotta feel for me, I'm the one that has to do the work. Then I've gotta go home and watch the work 50 times, edit it, and then put it up on the video. This week, I'm uh, down in the port side and I'm basically working my way down in there to square stuff up. You can see right behind me here, I've got this large companionway module. And what that's actually doing is uh, right now I'm reinforcing the stair treads on that module and uh, making this thing really, really super, super solid. Now, when it comes to modifying the modules and getting everything to fit properly, the initial fit really means nothing at the end of the day. And there's a whole lot of things that have transpired as I've gone through this build that I've, I've had to adjust and modify as I go. Now with these modules that I've been fitting in and out, in and out, in and out, I've worked out that delay is the deadliest form of denial. There comes a point where you have to make the call and get in and do it. And you'll see how I worked my way through that in this video. There's been a lot of issues with the phone call with this boat that I've changed the structure of the original boat and now I'm starting to pay for it, but it's coming to the crux where I have to deal with it. And that's what I'm gonna deal with in this episode. So after nearly eight weeks in the starboard side, it's time for a bit of a change of tempo for me. Um, I'm gonna start working on the port side. This side's gonna take some attention. Uh, the large stair module, which is the, the uh, double companion way that sort of surrounds the, uh, the head on the port side is the biggest module I have in the boat here, um, with the exception of the dinette module, which is not coming in yet, uh, which I haven't even made yet. But that has to be lifted out. The head needs to be lifted out. And then the floor needs to be lifted out. And then I've got to get in and I have to finish those water tanks. I have to put in the inspection hatch in the forward baffle and the actual services hatch in the rear. And that's uh, obviously drilling it out, coring the holes, screwing it in, mounting those hatches correctly, then considering where my plumbing lines are going to go. And then I can glass over the top of the, uh, of the water tank on the port side. And then I can work on getting that um, uh, fuel tank sold down as well, just like I did on the starboard side. So there's a lot to go on down in here. And I've also got another black water tank down there, bilge pumps, macerator pumps, all that stuff to start thinking about. Once that's in place, I can then put that bathroom module back in and really start to concentrate on how I'm going to get that fitted in. That module will be in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out until I get it exactly in the right position. And then, and only then, will I be able to consider demolding this hull. I have a lot to think about. Um, my plan will be to get the crane in here and simply pop it out of the hull, make sure it's out, get it two, three to two or three feet out of the hull, and then put it back in. And then I can consider starting to work on the deck that's outside. So there's a lot to consider here and a lot of work. And even just a change of side here creates a day of work where I have to move everything from my saloon area here out into the back where I've got working space so that I can move these massive modules in and out. And, uh, and obviously I need the subsequent help to get them in and out as well. So given that it's coming on winter, I can remove this fan. I think I used it about three times in summer. It drove me nuts, it was that loud. I prefer to put up with a 45 degrees Celsius heat in here than have that running all day because it's just deafening. Sounds like a helicopter in here. Now, rather than clutter up my back cockpit area, I'm gonna move this bulkhead 
out of the way and start to set up a little workstation up the back there that's out of the way so I can store stuff that's not going to be in my way while I'm moving those modules around. So this module here is a pain in my ass. It's about four meters long and about three meters high from the base to the top. The problem with it is, is that it's got double companionway in it and essentially it needs to fit flush against that bulkhead. The backside is that this part here isn't, but that indicates that I've got a twist in it and it's not actually sitting correctly within the hull. And a lot of that is gonna to be to do with the 30 mil of uh, foam on the bridge deck here that is higher than it was on the original boat. So I have to work out a way to integrate that into the bridge deck here. So there's gonna be some cutting involved. Uh, not just yet though. What I tend to do is put some composite angle down in here uh, against this bulkhead here with which to, to glue this to and then to tab and fair obviously into the bulkhead. Uh, but you'll notice that this part here is actually in the right position, but this here isn't. So it indicates that it's actually sort of almost pointing to port rather than coming around and it's being restricted by the actual uh, bridge deck under here. And, and obviously there's a lot of movement. I fear that the, the actual head module that's within this module uh, is actually what's restricting the movement. So it might mean that I need to lift this out, get the head module out, then put this back in, square this up, and then make the head module fit it. Because at the, at the end of the day, it's got a couple of flanges in there that can be cut back and then reintegrated. But uh, until that happens, I really can't determine the exact position of this, which it looks like it's in the right spot, but it needs to go another inch that way uh, before I do all of that first. So lots of lifting coming up and I'm gonna need a lot of help to do that. Uh, probably three or four movements of getting this in and out. So we're starting to get a little bit challenged here on the hulls. I wish I'd filmed that. <laughs> My whole back wall just fell down. Um, I removed the cross beam that I've had here holding it together and thought, oh, it'll be right. And uh, luckily I wasn't standing under it, but fortunately there was two tins of resin here that uh, have got resin in it and they were both not flying. Luckily they didn't go down into the hull or already cleaning resin out of the friggin' hulls, but luckily they only had about an inch in them and I was able to salvage them. But uh, what I tried to do was make room to bring that module across the bathroom, out the module back in uh, before I went and asked for some help and yeah, all chaos broke loose, the whole lot came down and smashed the fan. Luckily, um, no damage. Um, you just gotta be careful. When you're working on your own, you can't cover all your bases. It's just, it just gets dangerous. Probably don't need it at the moment. I'm gonna move it out of the way because I've got quite a bit of work to do down in here, sorting this guy out and, uh, and under the floor. Probably best if it's out of the way for the moment. So did I say it was gonna take a full day just to move one module? Uh, that gets pretty much about how it is, to be honest. Usually takes about a day to really change sides. This is now out of the way up in the forward cabin. And uh, yeah, gotta be honest, it's nice to have some fresh air coming through. It feels cooler already. All right, Johnny and I are gonna move this big module, aren't we, mate? Are you all ears, Captain? Yeah, good luck. Hello. Got it. Actually, I was sticking on that, lifting it up. Oh, 
Ross has got to have a little rest. This is where the true art of, uh, of boat building and modification comes into play. The 30 mil foam uh, issue is, is just biting me on the ass at every level. This big module here is going to need uh, a little bit of modification. Now do you A, cut the bejesus out of it and hope that you've got it right, or B, spend hours thinking about it. Um, yeah, it's B, you got to spend hours thinking about it because the ramifications of not getting it right are huge. It means you could almost ruin the module or you're going to end up with a lot of restorative work. My issue here is down here along this um, join where it joins the, the bridge deck. It's too high. It's around about probably one or two centimetres too high. So in, in that respect, I'm basically dealing with the 30 mil of foam core that I've put on the bridge deck here that I don't think the other boat had. So as a result, everything's sort of not quite mating correctly. So I can repair it and I have to intimately think about it so that I can get it either to mate on top or slightly below. And I had that problem with the companion way over there. Three hours I think I'm there this morning solved that problem. So down in here, you can see here where I've actually uh, lifted it up under a couple of spirit levels here, um, I'm going to trim along the actual companionway stairway and, and trim it along so that it, it drops below or equal to the chamfer panel. So the chamfer panel goes down like that. I want it to mate uh, level, which will then bring the whole module down, which is what I want it to do, because at the moment it's sloping away towards the outside of the boat. But very important that I do it correctly. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time and hopefully bring it down to the point where it's almost perfect and then uh, then I can work on doing the composite angle around the framework of the uh, of the module so that when I lift it out I can then get the bathroom in, put this module back in, make sure I have been in a state of denial. <laughs> um, this module, I've got it level, absolutely dead level. And how I did that is by lifting it up 30 mil, which means that it now matches the floor height here, which means that the deck height as it comes down will possibly need to alter the size of this module. Um, I'm hoping that once I get the deck to put it in here that it's going to mate and I'll be able to trim the module uh, and not have to do too much sort of alteration on the deck itself. But this here, now that I've cut this, I've got a dead level with the uh, chamfer panel and the only way to get that step dead level with the chamfer panel was to elevate that back by around about 20 to 30 mil. So Luckily, I haven't glued the floor down over the uh, over the fuel tank, which is what I had to do over here. That floor under the sole, uh, that sole over the fuel tank has actually been raised by the height of the composite angle. Gonna have to do the same thing here. If I go back to when I raised the floor of that and it left that beautiful little conduit run under the floor, I thought, won't have to do it on the other side. Guess what? Gotta do it on the other side. Don't anybody go. It's, uh, it's a bit depressing, but it's gotta be done. So in reality, uh, this end here is perfect. That's actually in perfect position now. And I'm gonna have composite angle under here, down, composite angle under here, all the way up here, like I've done with the other side. And then I'll probably put a bulkhead in there because that's actually going to be a cupboard with some shelves in there. Uh, however, this end here, to get it all level, and there's to prove that it is actually just focus on that, prove that it's actually level. Um, I had to lift this end here. I think the problem is that it's always been a bit twisted because this part here is not as deep as this. Now by lifting this end by 30 mil, we're talking millimeters here, down there I've just lifted that up by 30 millimeters. Now what I have 
is a perfectly level surface here. So that stair's now dead level with the chamfer panel. This flange here can be glued down onto the deck and then the large dinette module actually intersects with that and sits on top as I'm showing you in this photo here. Now further reinforcing my conclusion is the fact that under here is actually mating with the chamfer panel. So that stair is touching it and back here other than this section here is mating with the chamfer panel. You can see here that I've actually lifted it up by the thickness of the floor which is around about 30 millimeters. I've now raised that and the whole thing is sitting dead square including the floor. So I can't just prop it up I need to lift this whole this whole panel here comes up by 30 centimeters 30 millimeters it will solve my problem and maintain the whole thing straight if I take you around the back here it's a bit squeezy in here you can see here that this part here is dead flat and in here there'll be composite angle running down here there'll be a bulkhead there that'll actually form the basis of that wardrobe and then in here will be all the pumps behind the shower in the head and uh and i've actually just worked out that i don't need the back part of this part here because the shower recess actually sits on the floor and on that part only so there's a whole lot of things got to happen in here and um now that i've solved this problem here uh i'll be able to sort out this problem here so now that i'll uh I'll take this module out now. Wherever I can get to, I'm gonna put the composite angle in before I lift the module out so that I know it's in exactly the position that it's in right now. So just once again, you can see how closely mated this is. That's actually touching the chamfer panel. And this one here is clear. Now you gotta remember that I need to reinforce all underneath these stairs. Under here will have foam, under here will have foam, and uh, under this larger step up here, under there is going to be 20 mil foam and that's all coming up and similarly over here we've got room for air conditioning lines conduit lines and then once again foam up under those stairs there so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a rabbit warren in here but uh that'll give me a good little size cabinet locker in there and then here behind the shower will be the pumps and uh, and good access to my water my y valve my macerators, my bilge, which will be down in there, and the black water tank. Yeah, so this panel here, tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll lift it out. I'll raise this up by 30 millimeters. And then I'll be able to glue that floor down, then put this module in, fit it all out, take it out, put the head in, glass the head in. That's uh, gonna be the long-term goal, but I've got a lot of work to do before I do that. So yeah, I'm over in the port side for a long time. There's also another bulkhead that has to go there. Uh, wardrobe partition, another one down this line here, which forms the robe for the rear cabin. Okay, Johnny's just come over. I'm about to give him the news. Okay, I just admitted to everybody out there, didn't I, before Johnny got here, I've got to raise the floor by 30 mil. No way. Yes, that's what solved the problem. Because you've raised 30 mil on the deck. Yeah, I've solved the problem, but I've been in a state of denial and it's been absolutely giving me the shit. But uh, better to fix it now than not to, and I'll show you why. <laughs>